Hi there, I'm Christian, and in this PC Answers tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Windows 7 Home Groups. Uh, now, this is something in the, the new operating system to actually help you share files more easily uh, over your home internet connection. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, go straight into the Home Group, and you'll find that in Control Panel, uh, Network and Internet. This is, the, this is how it's been redesigned in Windows 7. They've re renamed some of the categories, so it's Network and Internet, and there you are, you'll find Home Group, and this is the icon you'll be looking for. Uh, in the future, this sort of uh, spinny balls around a, uh, uh, a green sphere. Click Home Group, and as you'll say, we, ha we haven't actually set one up here at the moment, but uh, back in our main office, we've uh, set up a, a Home Group uh, under my name. So we're going to attempt to uh, join that Home Group. So this is what you'll be faced with when you're trying to join with another machine. Uh, and first of all, it will tell you that you need to set your network location to home. Now this is something that was in uh, Windows Vista as well, you might be used to this, um, that when you have a new internet connection, whether it be Wi-Fi or uh, Ethernet, uh, you'll be told to actually just click a name basically, and most of the time it will be home, and for a home group, uh, that's the one you have to have. So just click that, um, and it will just apply your new network settings to that, and simply label this connection, uh, which is uh, happens to be wired, uh, Ethernet, um, to home network. And there we are, this is the uh, next screen you'll be faced with, uh, and it's about sharing uh, with other machines. So I'm just going to choose the categories, this is the type of documents, um, uh, pictures, music, videos, the type of files you want to share, and also includes printers, that's vital for uh, the success of, of Home Group uh, when you actually use that at home with multiple machines, it's really, really good. Uh, so click Next. Uh, now we have a Home Group, so we need to type the password in. Now if there are multiple Home Groups on um, a network, uh, each password will actually uh, relate to a specific uh, home group. For example, this, you know, this is only really for the office, but uh, in our office here we have multiple home groups, so you have to get the right password to actually decide on the, the home group in question. But here we're just going to type that in, and after just a few seconds it tells me that I've joined that home group using uh, the password that I just entered. So click Finish, and you may now be logged into uh, the actual home group, uh, this is called the home group applet, this is where you can manage uh, the types of uh, uh, libraries, and the, basically the file types, the documents, uh, and printers that you actually want to share. But so far, as you can see, it doesn't really tell us anything about the computer, uh, computer that we're connected to uh, via this home group. So just to verify that, if you choose media streaming options, it'll bring up another uh, window here. And this is the name of uh, the library on, on this machine, PCA. Uh, the other one is, is Christian PC. So here we don't see that on the local network. If we click all networks, we'll now find that these uh, PCs with the home group in actually show up. I've actually got two there because they're on uh, two different operating systems. Um, and that one, this one at the top, media programs on this PC, so that's for this PC. So you'll see allowed for all of these. So that means that the home group is up and running and shared with those machines. And the other ones that it's actually detected, now this, this will only happen in, in an office environment like we have here, it's actually showing that there are uh, other machines, PC format there, our system magazine, um, but it's automatically to block because they're not joined in this home group. Uh, Video Studio PC, that is the one I've just set up here, that's the one you're watching, uh, and that is now set to allowed, and, and there's one called Xbox 360, well that's an actual Xbox from uh, Xbox magazine, uh, and that's also set to block. So you can see the only ones that are shown as allowed are the ones in this home group. Um, so that's how we verify uh, what PCs uh, we have. Uh, and in a home environment, it's pretty straightforward. You have the one you've just connected to, you have your main PC probably, you've probably just connected with a laptop or another PC. So you're probably only likely to have two or three uh, anyway. Now under this home group app applet, there are uh, other things uh, you can do. Uh, view or print the home group password, that's vital in case you uh, forget it. Uh, you can change it to something more memorable because the one uh, Windows generates uh, is uh, it's, it's, it's about 10 characters long um, and it's just a few letters and numbers. It can be quite easy to forget so you can make a more memorable one. Uh, leave the home group, that's a simple option uh, to disconnect your PCs from the home group. Uh, very handy if you have people come around with a laptop etc who want to join the home group for some file sharing um, and then want to leave again afterwards uh, and change advanced sharing settings so we'll just go to that one now this is quite interesting for network discovery to make your home group uh, really 
the most useful, you really want to turn uh, network discovery on because that means it will sh actually show the machines um, that you're connected to and the same for uh, printer sharing, etc. So what we've done is actually ticked all the libraries in Windows 7. So remember, libraries is, is basically your file types, basically your old My Documents and My Pictures uh, and printers. So I'm already set up for sharing. But the idea of Home Group is that you can set uh, certain levels for the sharing. Uh, so you can have a read-write privileges or just read-only or actually block certain computers or, or users from a particular file. I'm actually going to show you that now. Here we are. This, this is our libraries on this Windows 7 PC. And if we go into documents, uh, we've actually got some uh, recordings for our videos. Um, so what I'm going to do is just uh, choose one of the folders here, PCA208, that was one of our last issues. And we're actually going to uh, right click on that. And it's this uh, option here, share with. Uh, so at the moment, it's completely open and shared as it is a file that we've chosen. You know, so it's in the documents library and we've told the other machines that uh, we wish to share uh, everything. But I can now choose nobody. And if I select that, it'll come up with a little uh, lock icon if I just uh, make these a bit bigger. There we are. You can see uh, the, the lock icon more clearly there. And again, if I right click, share with, and here we are, I can choose a home group. So it's read only. So anyone else can actually just discover those documents. And uh, for example, if there was Word and Excel documents in there, they could just read, open them and read them or I can give them the full privilege, which is read and write, or specific people down here. Now that will open up to uh, different user accounts uh, on, uh, on the various PCs in your home group. So that's the essence of uh, sharing any type of uh, file with the uh, Windows 7 home group feature. Uh, it's uh, absolutely fantastic and ideal on your home network. Uh, and just remember where to find home groups actually in network and uh, internet part of control panel. Uh, that's where it's located.